Yo, what's going on everyone? Super Devin here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are going to be going over the M4A1 as requested. Uh, but of course, keep in mind these are my opinions. So, uh, you know, it doesn't mean this is the best loadout in existence. But just from my personal preference, this is what I use. Uh, and you guys are more than welcome to take my advice. Or you can just not. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. But yeah, let's uh, get into it. Alright, so this is the M4A1. Uh, let's go over its attachments. Now, of course, uh, like I have said in my previous videos, the first thing you need to take note on a weapon is its flaws. So, the M4A1 has kind of high recoil due to its fire rate being kind of high. Uh, and, you know, so it makes it to where this is one of those guns that you need to worry about recoil. And as you can see, its damage range, its effective range is also under 100 studs. So, we do need to take that into a, a account as well. So, uh, as you guys know, I always run an optic on my gun. So, I'm going to throw a Coyote Sight on there early just to get that out of the way. But uh, the four attachment I the four attachments I use are going to be a muzzle, a barrel, ammo, and underbarrel. Uh, so the muzzle I use is of course the monolithic suppressor to give it that extra damage range, uh, while of course giving it some suppression as well. Because why not? Uh, I also use the marksman barrel, which as you can see increases damage range and increases recoil control, while only decreasing its handling speed. So not too worried about you know, the defects, but it does, uh, make it look kind of cool too. Um, I would also like to note that this is actually a barrel that will change the front sight. So as you can see, it looks like that. This is what it normally looks like. It's usually a circle with a little thing in the middle, uh, whilst the marksman barrel turns it into kind of three lines, which honestly this, this looks better in my opinion too. So, um, if you guys want to run iron sights, I would also suggest this barrel. Um, anyway, so, and then also the 30 round mag capacity, I feel like is never enough for me. This is one of, like, whenever I have 30 rounds, it always feels like if I am trying to kill a ton of people, you know, I run into more than two people, you know, that 30 round capacity isn't enough for me to kill them all. So, I always put a 50 round mag on these guns so we'll put throw the 50 round mag on there and then for a little bit more recoil control we are going to put on that vertical grip because this is as i've said before the best underbarrel you can use because it gives you vertical recoil conduction while also increasing hip fire accuracy and only dec slightly decreasing handling speed so this is personally you know in my opinion the best underbarrel you can use uh, so this is this is what I use mainly. Uh, this is you know my uh, personal preference for the M4A1. Now, if you like running iron sights, we can take those off, and then I honestly would just throw on probably the tack stock because then you get uh, you do get increased vertical recoil, but you also get increased recoil control as well as ADS speed. Um, so, you know, I'd use the tack stock, throw that on, give yourself some more recoil control, or uh, maybe you want a perk, you know, sleight of hand is always nice. Um, I personally wouldn't throw a laser on here, not really that important, but uh, yeah, so this is my personal preference. Let me, guys, let, me, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into some gameplay with this bad boy. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to drop a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And uh, you will get notified when I post. I post every week, uh, usually Tuesday. Um, 
And if you want to catch me elsewhere, I stream on Twitch three times a week. I also post on Twitter and have a Discord server. Uh, and if you want to support me directly in the work I do, as well as getting access to content early, like bloopers and stuff like that, check out my Patreon. Uh, prices aren't very high, and you get some pretty neat perks. So, uh, yeah, I will see you all next time. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.